for granted because they're also really, really good to uh, promote skill increase. Uh, um, what's the word? Um, yeah, it just heightens the uh, the skill the skill ceiling. So don't forget about that. Mm -hmm. All right. Well. Here we go. We're going to be getting into the first game of Grand Finals here. We got 8 Man taking on Ven, the rematch from earlier. Battlefield is going to be the start, and so far, man, 8 Man is putting down some crazy damage. Yeah, it's, it's Ven is struggling a little to get in there, to recover from the stage, especially with the gyro doing a lot of damage, a lot of pressure overall, and he's been doing everything right. 8 Man definitely knows the matchup really well. He's been facing this opponent for a while now, and I bet that Rob feels very comfortable, just like that, throwing a, an up smash, completely unrelated, super far away from his opponent, and it's still connected. It's just a disgusting move, and you love to see it. Yeah, man, the one unfortunate situation, though, is that Zelda had the gyro in hand, so she actually died with the toy. But, you know, it is what it is. I mean, Rob's able to get it back, so it's not a huge problem. But, man, just continues to pile on this damage, man. Only 80%. So, okay, we're starting to see Ven get a little bit of something going here. Oh, oh that's a big punish. Yeah. You got to be careful with that. You got to make sure you're on top of your game. You cannot allow Apit Man any solid openings because they will take advantage of it every single time. Yeah, especially at this point where Ven is in looser side, so he needs to force a reset in order to stay alive. He good catch with that up air. Up air. We know that Ven is really good at those. He's always going to go if you're under him. He's going to be sharking, especially in this triplat situation where he might benefit. In my opinion, it's one of the best stages for Zelda because she is going to be able to put out the Phantom Ooh. in a lot of sticky situations, but that stage spike is going to be enough to condition that bad recovery from uh, Ven. Unable to take the action just in the right moment at the right point in order to bring it back from all the way down there really uncomfortable situation as i said the phantom can be placed in a really good situations when uh, when the platforms are on deck so it's always uh, something always something that you need to keep track of if you want to don't want to get punished right 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 well, we'll see how things play out here. Okay, again, getting a small opening, 26%. Not going to be the biggest problem in the world. But, man, this is only going to get worse from here. Not only is it 8 Man, but it's 8 Man playing Rob. Oh, no, the lightning kick. Got to be able to take out that stock. Even things up here, 39% is all that separates the two of them now. This honestly could be anybody's game. Going to start off with the up smash, putting down just a little bit of damage, finding ways to try and put Ven off stage time and time again. But Ven just keeps finding a way around it. And Ven is just doing like trickle damage, like like tickling with those neighbors love. Those are good, we take those, but it's not the substantial damage that he actually needs to do something. He might be able to confirm with these platforms, with these setups, and the Phantom coming out clutch there to extend the damage a little longer, trying to reflect it. But the extension again with Nera's love into the Phantom is going to put the percentage in a very comfortable situation. And the Phantom is going to take the stock once again, Ven taking it all the way back. He was on a very very big deficit and instead he brings it back with a clutch moment from phantom clipping through the ledge and hurting bitman bitman with lethal damage yeah man actually fantastic play from ven recognizing how much pressure they could put on 8 man while they're sitting on the ledge however take into consideration winner's finals started off the same way we had ven take a game one victory Right, and then it just went from there. It all fell apart where Ape Man took three games in a row. Now, however, they started on Town and City first, but we'll see how Ape Man's able to respond going into game two. And if they're able to win it, it's looking like history might repeat itself as the set moves forward. But here we go, getting into game two here. We're gonna find out what stage we're gonna be on in just a little bit. Maybe a little tooltip will pop up. Nope, Bayonetta has nothing to do with what we were watching at all. But right back to that, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, again, the triplat situation that does benefit us a little bit. Uh, I would have to re reiterate, uh, she, it allows her to put Phantom in, in a plethora of situations and angles and uh, force a lot of conditioning, force a lot of options. It's really good overall. But here, Bitman taking advantage of uh, the damage that he's piling up and the aggression that keeps coming up with only 6%, the gyro doing its work. He's going for the Ooh. spike. He almost timed it very well, but it was a little off just for a second, trying to reflect the Phantom mistimed and he gets punished once again, something that we've seen before in the previous 
previous game. Yeah, I don't know if 8 Man's just feeling a little sluggish. You know, he has been waiting a little bit. So maybe, you know, starting to catch up to him a little bit. Probably a little bit tired. Oh, my goodness. They start off so, so hot. And now Ven just clawing their way back. Taking that first stock. That's really unfortunate for 8 Man. But a great, great start for Ven here. Uh, okay, going to be able to get back to stage. No problem. Finding that Pharaoh's win right to the ledge. Getting a little bit of damage in the process. Only 10% extra credit so far. We'll see what Ven's able to get. If he's able to find anything else. But right now, oh. Oh my god, this co oh, it just keeps happening. Is that gonna be it? No, great air dodge from uh, Ven. They are avoiding the, what used to be, or like uh, at least in most of the cases, is a confirm from Rob. Still surviving 176. You cannot let Zelda live this long because she's going. To, every time I say that, she's uh, it's sent flying. Like I jinx it and I apologize because of that. But I think Ven is doing a phenomenal job overall, taking advantage of that uh, situation where he was, yeah, very high percentage, but still com allowing him to extend. And then he, the damage even further. However, Big Man is doing a phenomenal job here at trying to bring it back. And the percentage, that gyro might be very dangerous. He gets the confirm, but Nero's love <laughs> stops. It stops the aggression right there. Yeah, dude. Okay, so oh, Ape was actually going for some crazy combos, but what happened is because Nero's love actually comes out very, very, very fast, yeah. was able to actually turn the gyro into theirs, gained ownership of it. So it turned into this weird, wacky scenario where, like, the hits were trading back and forth, but, like, they, they weren't the same time that was just really weird very very interesting interaction but we'll see what happens as we move forward here because right now the game is even in terms of stocks and that's what the game is all about man it's not about the percentages it's about the stocks here you don't win a game by just putting down more percentage you got to take the stocks too unless you're like sonic going for a timeout that's the only other situation <laughs> no and then going for the insane juggling with the knockback not the knockback the percentage that it drops is just insane how good Zelda can be with those juggles because it's just insanely strong. That Nero's love barely falling short. And a Bidman taking that stock with that up air, catching then a little um um um, um, um what's the word? Oh shit, I forgot. A little um unprepared. Sorry, thank you. Unprepared for the uh, for that up here. Yeah, I got it. Listen, it happens. Okay, English is for those of you who don't know, English is not my main language. So uh, excuse me if I butcher any pronunciation or. No, or you're good. You're good. You're good. Uh, I mean, hey, at least you can speak multiple languages. I mean, I, I can I can attempt Spanish, and it's not going to be good at all. Like, it's, do it right so now. do it right now. No. <laughs> Listen, I'm not gonna. That's why. That's why I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make fun of you because you're you're doing fantastic. Don't worry about it. Thank you. I appreciate it. But no. Then again, then even though he was on a lead for the majority of the uh, of of this second game, or well, actually no, he was in the deficit, but he was always able to bring it back with the percentage very high, the rage. He was taking advantage of that, and it, it was really really well done from then. Unfortunately for him, of course, Eight Bit was ready with those uh, good juggles that he has. I'm being attacked on Twitter right now. But you know where I don't feel attacked? On the MetaView app. I can tune into the MetaView app at any time. Even if I don't have an iPhone, I can go to metaview.gg to check out some of the freshest clips like this event right now. MSM Online. Let's see what we can get going here. Uh, we did got an even set so far. One game up. Peace, but Ven is going to be trying to find a way to take another game because they would want the reset. They're trying to get to the grand finals reset so they can win the entire tournament. But man, they got to take six games in the process. Hey, I'm a little surprised and curious as to whether why they're not doing any counter picks for the stage. They're staying very uh, headstrong on uh, tri on Battlefield. And uh, it's curious. Again, the Phantom perfectly placed, catching the recovery, doing a phenomenal job overall to condition those and, to, and punishing specifically. Here's Love doing its work at avoiding damage and barely missing that up smash. It could have been devastating if that had connected. Oh no! Instead, gets praise, a uh, false prey to that up smash with the insane uh, hitbox that it has. It's just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. But again, Phantom is ready to protect Zelda's back at all times. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But here we go, man. Wow, Bubba, gonna be getting into these second stocks here. You see, you're worried about your your English, and I can't even talk. It's my primary language. So <laughs> that's why that's why you don't have to worry about anything here. <laughs> But okay, but here we go. Second stock so far. Ven is putting down a lot of damage, man. 80% on the second stock already. 
Now, 8 Man starting to find his own rhythm, starting to find his own openings, getting an up air. Not going to be able to find the second one, but getting these aerials in general, just putting down some great damage, creating some great pressure. But, ooh, Ven trying to get a forward smash. I could be able to get it. The grab, let's see, down throw. Going to be looking for the up tilt into the up air. Will they close up the stock? Yes, they will. I think there was some sus DI there, but it is what it is. Yeah, either way, the ceiling is not the highest, and, and Rob definitely has a lot of knockback on that up air. Oh, wow, beautiful placement of that so, uh, forward air to get the stock back-to-back -back stocks, back-to-back -back percentage. It's The way they're playing is just ridiculously good. We are, at, well, I, I believe we could be uh, witness to a bracket reason. The way they're playing is just insane. At least I would love to see it, because their level of adaptation, their level of aggression is just ridiculous and just a pleasure to observe. Oh, for sure, for sure. But I mean, the problem is, is that you got to find a way to slow down 8-Bit, man. And look, there's no signs of slowing down at all. This robot is all but <laughs> about oh, ending games and taking stocks. And right there, we're going to see game three go into 8-Bit Man's favor. One game away from closing out MSM Online 59. A beautiful recognition there from 8-Bit Man, knowing that Ven was going to take that option, tried to go for the safety of Ledge, instead found the insane hurtbox, the hitbox that is Ross down here. Just so big, so destructive, so oppressive, so hard to avoid. And even though Stelda was thought she was protected with the blessing of Farore, uh, as I like to call it, because, uh, listen, I grew up with Zelda in Spanish, so uh, I, and some, some have complimented it. They actually like it so i keep saying it like that farore's win being the perfect move that it is it can still fall prey fall victim insane damage that drops down it can provide and just how do you recover from that you just get destroyed into the the nucleus of the world with that insane spike i had a brain fart <laughs> i'm so sorry <laughs> oh, you're good you're fine you're fine I was like, I heard everything and I thought about it, and then I forgot everything that we were talking about for like the past five because minutes. Old, in there. Listen, old age, old age is really just catching up to me. But you know what's not going to be catching up to me? I have no actual real transition there. But we're going to be getting into game four at Battlefield. <laughs> You try, you try it, and we respect that. Any, in any case, again, we are going, we're going to game number four. Ven still at a deficit. He needs to bring this game back with those lighting kicks. He, he might be able to take it. However, it's not quite the right percentage for it. And again, the, the aggression. Albeit he's there, it's still very difficult for them, for him to confirm. However, those nearest loves are coming up just clutch to avoid the projectiles that Bitman is trying to put out at all times to drown his opponent, but instead he's the one getting drowned at all times. Mm -hmm. But here we go, man, 141. I mean, Ben's gonna be looking for a way to close out the stock very soon. Oh, has a gyro hit, gets a weird hitbox on the up tilt. Okay, Ben's gonna find a way back to stage. Oh, he just waits for the spot dodge. Just goes for a jab, you know, nice little one-two, but again, putting off this uh, whole lot of pressure, keeping Ben off stage, that's gonna be a stock gone, man. If you're not able to convert on that arm rotor, you're gonna be eating a huge lightning kick to the face. Yeah, definitely. And then even though we've seen this before, him having a substantial amount of percentage, he hasn't been able to capitalize a lot from them. Uh, it's usually Eggman Man who's going to keep the aggression at all times, and he's trying to go for the maximum aggression oppression at all times. Let's see if Ben is actually going to be able to do something out of this, because lately, or not lately, uh, the, the, what we've seen lately is the fact that he's not uh, taking a lot of advantage. However, here it's looking a little different as the percentage keeps piling up yeah no ape man's definitely being super aggressive trying to find a way to close out the stock the okay going for the down throw waited to see what ben was gonna do and we'll get the spike okay either way i, I thought that ape man was just, just kind of flubbed it but no they were still able to close out the stock and now i even stocks here 59 percent to five percent oh my god oh. I, I mean this would have killed but it sure would make you feel like you're gonna die well, he had no jump, so it, it was down to ref to uh, reflexes. Like if if Ben was ready for that, he could have been. That was could, that could have been really bad. However, Ben is now in a lead with a very good uh, lead. He actually has a full stock ahead. He has. He feels comfortable. He feels. Uh, he's moving basically, but again, a bit man is a, a extending every single option he has with that gyro, and he might be able to go for the extra edge guard here, and he goes for that. He gets it, and we get again, yet again. Uh, that's even stuck possible last game situation.
Yeah, honestly, I mean, it, and look at this. Just continues to pile on this damage. That one stock situation actually just turned the entire momentum of this game into 8 Man's favor. It just continues to get worse. Oh my God, and the spike, and that's going to be it. It just it ended immediately. And we saw one stock disappear, and then the game just ended. Like, but he lost two stocks at the same time. That's how fast that was. Absolutely insane stuff from 8 Man. I, I, I don't even know what happened. I feel like I'm... I'm just catching up. My mind is catching up to what I just saw. I'm still tired.